Okay, so let's look at this article from 2012 by Fiona Dean entitled, How I Got a Distinction in Unit 4 Teaching Practice. And that's really hard to do. Getting a distinction is really, really hard. Um, so she focuses on <clears throat> keeping your lessons simple, global, and real. And she says, the full title of the Trinity Diploma in Unit 4 is Teaching Practice, Learn Analysis, Preparation, Delivery, and Self-Evaluation and Teaching. For some teachers, this is the section in which they learn a great deal. For others, it's the part they feel they'll breeze through. For many, it's the section they dread the most. In my experience, doing it two summers ago for a month in Spain, and then because I didn't pass the final <clears throat> assessment this past summer in Hong Kong for two weeks, uh, nobody found it to be easy. <laughs> but we did learn a lot, but it could have been better organized. I think most of our group found it reasonably easy to fulfill the Unit 4 syllabus requirements for learner analysis, delivery, and self-evaluation. So I think she's talking about the pro forma. Okay, and then she goes on to talk about lesson planning. I love lesson planning. Yes, I actually do. I do like lesson planning. Um, so her questions are, how many activities will your students do? Which will be the most important activity? Where will it come in the lesson? How long will it last? How do you plan a lesson on paper? Mind maps, sequencing of ideas. What criteria do you use to choose the lesson activities for your students? <clears throat> and then she goes on to talk about, one, keep it simple, two, think global, not linear, and three, keep it real to your learners. And those are all good points. And really simply what she means is um, keep it simple, don't do anything fancy, um, <clears throat> your objectives and your activities should just be straightforward. Okay. Global, not linear. So that means <clears throat> choose a very simple, focused, communicative objective that you want to accomplish and then build your lesson around that. But don't structure it so that everything has to be sequential and everything has to be done. Make it so that things can be flexible and you can move things around or eliminate things, but still accomplish the communicative objective. And then keep it real. So there needs to be some context that makes the communicative objective and the, the language objective relevant for your learners. And that's all good advice. Um, I found the training to be disorganized <clears throat> and there wasn't really a clear segue between the online portion and the face-to-face -face. <clears throat> and <clears throat> after having done the face-to-face -face one and a half times my opinion is that it's more like a teaching contest than teacher training and the trainers are more like advisors than trainers. They're, they're very hands-off, in, in, in my opinion. Um, and I think if I had gone in knowing that, it would have made it easier for me. I got a lot of different opinions from the different trainers and assessors. Um, when you do the normal face-to-face, -face, which is a month long, you observe one trainer at the beginning of, of the month and that's it and that's not enough so when I went back to Hong to to do the face-to-face -face for the <clears throat> second time <clears throat> which I did in Hong Kong um, the first time I, I was in Spain um, <clears throat> I insisted on observing my trainers a few times so I observed uh, my three trainers once each and they observed me um, I forget how many times, two or three times. And that was really, really important and helpful. Um, <clears throat> what else? Um, yeah, context is important. So keeping it real, that third point that she makes is really important. But again, the trainers didn't really teach or train that. Um, and that's one of the points that I failed, failed on for my final lesson. <clears throat> 
in, in Spain, and it would be helpful to have things like that pointed out and to have us trained <clears throat> very clearly and thoroughly with regard to that and, and other areas. Um, so <clears throat> again, I did pass the face-to-face -face the second time. I know what my score is, but I haven't looked at the results yet. Um, I'll have to look at them soon. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this. Have a good day.